Good morning guys, welcome back on this nice and sunny Sunday morning. It's very early, but we are hiking on the Mijnweg again, like I mentioned in my last video, that we will be hiking to the Lake of the Ferries. And uh, yeah, we decided to start early because it's going to be warm again this afternoon. Point is with starting early on National Park de Mijnweg, or in National Park de Mijnweg, is the wild boar. In my video from last year when I was camping here, I was talking about my wild boar encounter for, from a few years ago and it always stayed in my mind. So I was hiking that day early as well, not uh, the, the time I'm hiking now. It's now about 8 o'clock, 8.30 I think, and then it was 6 o'clock. So that makes hopefully a difference in not meeting them because as you know by now I'm not a fan of wild boar. Um, there are sheep and cows here in this area, but that's not a problem at all. So we're going to take you along on this early morning hike and we're going to show you the Lake of the Fairies. So that things are changing here in the Netherlands in regards to wildlife was also made clear at the beginning of this hike because there was a sign of the, uh, in regards to the protection of the herd of sheep that's living here because we are more and more getting to know the wolf again in the Netherlands and mainly in the south, where we live, in the south. So they also live around our home. Haven't spotted one so far, but of course you never know what's going to happen. And now they also had a sign here in the front at the gate that um, the herd of sheep here will be protected by dogs and what you have to do when you approach the, uh, the sheep and the dogs and everything and how you should respond to it but that makes clear that wildlife here is absolutely changing I know in some parts of Europe also bears have been seen so yeah I actually don't know what that's going to bring for the future but in fact I'm not afraid of the wolf I know that's not 100% safe and you should not approach them but I'm still remaining more afraid of the wild boar <laughs> than I do of the wolf. But I think one way it would be nice to encounter one someday. But I don't know how they are going to react to Ravi. So maybe it's better not. Yep, and that's wildlife in the mine as well. Snakes. Never seen them either, by the way. See, there's definitely some wild boar activity here. You can also smell them. They have a really specific smell, which is hard to describe, but it's a smell, once you smell it, you will recognize it all the time. So definitely in this area here around me, there are wild boar, you can smell them. I just saw some fresh uh, wild boar poop. So yeah, definitely. So maybe I'm able to show you some, but I hope not. Hey buddy, <laughs> good boy. <laughs> now if the camera picks it up, there goes a very big bird. So many wildlife here. Little pond over there. I think this is absolutely one of the most beautiful national parks that we have. A 
our original trail goes that way but first we're going to do a little to detour that way because there is the lake of the fairies located so definitely would like to show you that and after that we will continue our hike that way yep I was marking again <laughs> I was adding that to my text from the early morning hike in the Eiffel from two weeks ago that sometimes people ask me does Ravi really pee that much but no he does not he's empty after two times or so two or three times but for some reason he thinks he has to keep peeing the whole trail so you see him lifting his paw a lot but do not worry he's not sick or something or doesn't have any problems and he is not peeing so often Well, there's sure not a lot of people hiking here. <laughs> Come here, Ravi. No idea how dirty the water is, so I'm going to keep Ravi close because I know he's going to swim when it's this hot. Welcome to the Lake of the Fairies. Okay, I agree, it's not the most spectacular lake in the world, but it's a pretty place, don't you think? It's a nice spot for a short little break, although the length of the hike does not ask for a break, but places like this, overlooking the Lake of the Elves, are absolutely beautiful. There were two mountain bikers sitting here when we passed first, but they were so kind to uh, speed up their cup of tea a little bit so that we could sit here because then we would have the best views, they say. So in summertime, I offer Ravi water at each break that we take, although I know that he's not always drinking, but I think it's very important when you decide to go hiking in warmer weather, that you take care of your dog very well, and water is absolutely a necessity. So he will get it offered every time, therefore he has his own bottle that when he does not drink, I can put it back in the bottle, so nothing gets wasted either. And I don't think that he would mind a snack either. Ravi, would you like a snacky? And of course, don't forget myself either, of course. So we're back at the junction now, so we're now going to continue that way. We just left the Lake of the Fairies behind. It was a pretty place, huh? And so quiet. When I was keeping my mouth shut, <laughs> there was nothing else to hear but birds, insects and sounds of nature. And those are the places that we love most. And in regards to the name, Lake of the Fairies, well, I can let my imagination go crazy on that one. When it's starting to get dark, and sun is starting to set, people are leaving the area, then all the fairies are coming out, dancing on the flowers on the lake. Okay, I got that one from the theme park, the Efteling. <laughs> there is a, um, there's a theme park in the Netherlands, the most famous one, the Efteling. And they also have a sort of a show. It's really old, it was already there when I was born. And um, that's actually the same story. That's uh, on the side of a lake. And when it gets dark, the witch comes out, she brings the fairies, the flowers to life and in the flowers, fairies are living and then they started dancing on the music that the witch is playing on her piano. So definitely can let my imagination go and see this as a place where this um, attraction has been born, so to say, where someone was sitting on this lake and thinking about that attraction and designed it. 
But that's me letting my imagination a little bit go crazy. For now, let's go hiking. Come on, Ravi, this way. So, and there it is again, the border between the Netherlands and Germany. This time, it's a little gate over there. And here behind me, you can see the stone that was uh, the border in the early days. So for now, welcome in Germany. As you can see here that we are walking exactly on the border because here you've got another border rock again. And another one. So we are almost back at Jägerhof and uh, that made this hike completed again. I'm very happy that we went early because it's really warm and uh, it shouldn't be as warm as yesterday but I think it definitely is more warm than it was yesterday. So what we're going to do then, I think the terrace will be open by now, so have a nice cool drink, maybe eat a piece of cake, they have great homemade cakes and pies over there which also includes one of my favorites which is called Donauelle. If I will get one, I will blend in a photo of it up here. <laughs> and um, now we're going to relax. We can stay all day like we usually can when we are at Jägerhof. And then we will have a relaxing remaining Sunday. And then we go home again. And for now, I would like to thank you again for hiking with us. As always, enjoy the outdoors. We will catch you on the next trail. Goodbye. Oh, one more thing. Like I was asking in my last videos, please give this video a thumbs up, a like. It costs you one second, but it makes a world of difference for us in helping our channel grow. So, thank you. Goodbye.